Instead of being remembered for the music, these concerts were marred by death, danger or destruction. I can't do any more than just ask you, to beg you just to keep it together. You can do it, it's within your power, everyone. Everyone, Hells Angels, everybody. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most infamous concert mishaps. Number 10, Guns N' Roses Metallica Stadium Tour. Unfortunately, James uh, is on his way to the hospital right now, and we're, we're sorry, but we can't continue the concert for you guys tonight. After Metallica singer James Hetfield was accidentally burned by an elaborate stage effect involving pyrotechnics, the heavy metal group cancelled the rest of their Montreal show. Things deteriorated further when co-headliners Guns N' Roses were late and Axl Rose cut the set short, citing sound and vocal problems. I go and light myself on fire and he upstages me. Angered fans expressed their displeasure with such violent street rioting that the police had to resort to tear gas. Number 9. Woodstock 1999 You got boss problems! You got job problems! You got a problem with me! You got a problem with yourself! It's time to take all that negative energy and put it the f out! Unlike the more peaceful 1969 original, Woodstock 99 was ruined by violence, rapes, and vandalism. Limp Bizkit frontman Fred Durst made things worse by telling the crowd not to mellow out, as fans broke stuff all around them. Get me on the train. The next night, after concert goers started bonfires, the Red Hot Chili Peppers unwisely chose to cover Jimi Hendrix's fire. No deaths were recorded, but there were plenty of injuries and even some arrests. Number 8. Pukle Pop Only a few days after the Indiana State Fair stage collapse in the U.S., Mother Nature struck again at Belgium's Pukle Pop. While the Smith Westerns were playing, the high winds and heavy rain of an unexpected thunderstorm brought down the stage. The incident took the lives of five people, harmed over a hundred more, and brought a quick end to that year's festival. Number 7. Altamont Speedway Free Festival There's so many of you. Just be cool down the front and don't push around. Due to the festival's high-profile acts, an unusually low stage, and over 300,000 concert goers, the Rolling Stones hired the Hells Angels to keep them safe. Unfortunately, the intoxicated and drugged-up crowd proved too much. After Meredith Hunter pulled out a gun, the teenager was stabbed and slain by the motorcycle gang during the band's set. The festival was also the site of three accidental deaths and hundreds of injuries. Why are we fighting? Why are we fighting? Number 6. Roskilde Festival In an effort to get closer to the band, thousands made their way to the front of the stage while Pearl Jam was performing at Roskilde. The group's attempts to calm the crowd came too little too late. On the count of three, three steps back, please. One, two, three. One, take a step back. Two, take a step back. Three, please. As a result, many people, including crowd surfers, were trampled under the human stampede, and the world lost nine friends we'll never know. Number 5. Damage Plan Tour Due to the actions of paranoid schizophrenic ex-U.S. Marine Nathan Gale, this heavy metal band's career was short-lived. Gale shot former Pantera guitarist Dimebag Daryl while he was on stage with his new band, Damage Plan. He then fired into the crowd and killed three other people before police officer James Nigmeyer ended Gale's life. At least seven more people were wounded. We had the good news, you had to do it. You saved the man's life. Number 4. The Who Tour, 1979 a year after Keith Moon's death, The Who experienced more grief when 11 fans were crushed while trying to attend one of their shows. Did, did they know that they were trampling on these people? Yes, they know. They were just trampling right on over them like they didn't care. Mistaking sound check for the real thing, thousands of ticket holders rushed the unopened doors of the Riverfront Coliseum. The venue's inadequate crowd control methods and first-come, first-served festival seating also caused at least 26 other people to get hurt. If it happened inside the hall, I don't think I would ever play again. Number 3. Love Parade the tragic occurrences of 2010 ensured that this annual electronic dance music festival and parade would be no more. 
That year, the festival's popularity drew over a million people, despite a capacity of only 250,000. Unfortunately, 500 concert goers were injured and 21 people died from being squashed or suffocated while using the overcrowded tunnel underpasses to get to the Love Parade. Number 2. John Davidson One of the deadliest nightclub fires in American history prevented singer John Davidson from playing at the Beverly Hills Supper Club in 1977. That night, over a thousand people were crammed into the main room where two comics were performing, and hundreds more were enjoying other events in the club's various halls and restaurants. As the patrons scrambled to escape the fire, they ended up blocking the exits with their bodies. Sadly, over 160 perished. Number 1. Great White This hard rock band's headlining set was cut short after foam insulation inside the station caught fire because of pyrotechnics gone wrong. Within seconds, the 250-person capacity nightclub was engulfed in flames and over 400 people were trapped inside. In the mad dash to the main entrance, over 200 were injured and 100 were killed, including Great White's guitarist Ty Longley. Despite these mishaps and other tragedies, like the Republica Cro-Magnon nightclub fire in Argentina and the Santika club fire in Thailand, concerts continue to be popular around the world. As long as we are mindful of others and improve safety conditions, we can ensure that concerts remain about the music. Check out more top 10s by subscribing to watchmojo.com. Hey, hey.